Okay, we're going to use the AccuScan and vectorization. So we'll import a, uh, a picture of such or a graphical image. And we'll just go ahead and import that first. So it should be under File and Import. And you got to find a picture on the internet or save it to your computer and import it. Left click. There it is. Won't worry about sizing or anything. We're just going to get right into it here. So there's the AccuScan and the tools list there. And we'll scan that. And there's a few options that we can do here with the trace setup. Um, you can play with these all day. May or may not make a difference. Uh, there's some preset ones there. I'm just going to go with the logo one. See how that works. I've never really noticed too much of a difference through here, but and then we'll vectorize. There's a vectorization button. There you do. Then it's traced it. And you'll see the uh, it's a little pixelated um, in the image. So we'll zoom in here. Um, that's all still attached. So we'll just come in a little closer. And then you can see the pixels of it. It, it drew it pretty straight. It didn't follow each pixel. So it's done a great job. It's probably don't have a lot of cleanup or no cleanup at all on this whatsoever. I'm just trying to move it, get it away. So there it is there. So it's captured the line around the outside. And we'll have a look at the uh, look at the nodes. And we're going to change this to polyarc. Convert to polyarc. Remember on the node thing, then you can um, edit it if you like. And then it's got too many, so we're just going to reduce those. These will reduce them, less G code. So we'll see again how many less nodes there is since we've reduced them. There they are, nice and simple. And you can go in and move and change if, if you like. If you want to smooth something off or round something off, pretty simple. Um, again, it's the nodes, so you know, it gets some taken used to, getting used to these. And then we'll just apply. There we go. That's done. And another video will show how to how to uh, make a cut path for that. Show two more real quick ones here. Import uh, another picture. This one here will have some background imagery on it. Same sort of logo, just with camouflage. So real busy. Uh, a little harder to do. Uh, a lot more work. Um, so the cleaner the image, the better. So. Um, different images as well with the modes. Um, you know, we can select a monochrome, which basically kind of gives it a, a black and white to it. So more, a little more distinctive of a path. And then there we go. AccuScan, vectorization, close. And there it is. So just separate the two. So there's two there. So you can go in and you can see how much camouflage and, you know, you can use the engraver on all that. You want to engrave what the camouflage is or go through and just delete it all you know whatever you want to do we'll import one more this one's going to be a picture and sometimes you guys will get come across something like this and best thing to do is sometimes just just trace it um, with the node tracer but this one here we'll go grayscale um, probably doesn't really matter and again we'll select the trace setup and let's select a different one and we'll vectorize it close it and we'll separate it uh, i think this one we did in a grayscale so it came out a little bit differently i know we usually do it but uh, the nodes aren't coming up there's no convert to so this one's a little bit different uh, you can see how the picture doesn't come out very very well. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done in this to make it look like a deer. You're going to have to add the back of the deer. Um, there's a lot of editing to do with this if you're going to vectorize it. Generally a lot easier just to um, trace it with the node, node edit. So yeah, there we go. We got it. So there's only nodes. And again, we'll just convert that over to the poly arc because then the, it's got uh, rounded edges and you could curve things, not like polygon where you can't curve them. So lots of nodes, so we'll half those up here again. So we'll reduce those and there we go. So a lot of editing to do on that one. There's three different ways that you can do that. Um, 
So choose the one that works for you. 